let's see how you can quickly sync audio and video. Good morning, guys. I'm happy to see you back here at Family Making Simplified. Hey, everyone. I'm Dom from Wondershare Unicom Breeder. And in today's video, we're going to sync audio and video. We're going to be looking at this task from two aspects. Fixing audio synchronization of a file and syncing an external audio recording to a video. Now, depending on how advanced you are, what kind of software you use, these issues can be tricky. So in this video, I'll show you the easiest ways to do it. Let's begin with syncing the delayed audio of a video file. This issue can be due to a faulty rendering process, wrong recording settings like video FPS and audio sampler rate doesn't match. And of course, technology sometimes just can play tricks with us and go wrong for unknown reasons but leaves us with problems to fix nonetheless. It's not always possible to perfectly fix a delayed audio, however, because when the amount of delay is not continuous but varies during the video file, it's not going to be easy to fix or possible to do so at all. But in this video, we're gonna be optimists. So let's look at a less complicated scenario. So if you already know how to use a video editor, the first thing that you wanna do is importing your file into the software. If you're in DaVinci, make sure that the project frame rate matches your file's frame rate. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at a new set of problems. Then import the file onto the timeline. As you can see here, we have a video layer and an audio layer. They seem to be nicely together, but in reality, they're not. Now, this process is the manual version of this task. Later, I'll show you another one that might be easier, but first, I'd like to visually demonstrate what happens during this process. The next step is to separate video and audio layers. It's going to take a right click in DaVinci and then clicking on unlink. And now, as you can see, if I move the audio layer on the timeline, it moves separately from the video layer. Let's sync them. You can do this by carefully looking at the video while listening to the audio and try to find the right amount or, and this is my favorite method, you can look for a loud or at least very characteristic sound in the video with the visual counterpart, like a door being shot, something breaking, you name it. Essentially what a clapper board is used for. When you find one, put a marker both on the video and audio layer. It usually works by pressing M on the keyboard. And then just adjust the layers so that the two markers meet and then export the file. If you set the export settings to MP4 H.264, there will be very little chance that something goes wrong. Okay, this was more of a professional way. The next tool we're gonna use is the Uniconverter. It's a multimedia toolbox that's always good to have on your computer, regardless of your level of expertise. You can download the tool from videoconverter.wondershare.com and after creating a free account, you can start using the tool's free features. I'd recommend that you get a subscription though, to be able to properly use the tool. Anyway, let's open the tool and go to the video editor. Import the file, then go to the effects window by clicking right here. And within here, go to the audio tab. In this tab, we're gonna use the audio synchronization function. Adjust it while listening to the audio and looking at the video stream here. When you're done, click on save and then export your file. Make sure that your export settings are set right. For example, MP4 H.264 and also that you always have an output folder selected that you'll remember. Okay, our next task is to sync an audio file that we recorded separately with an external recorder and sync it to our video footage. Now note that it's always good to use either a clapper board that I just showed you before or just your hands to create a strong audio visual point in the footage that your editing software can use to match the camera audio to the external one or should you forget to record in camera audio like it happened to me about a thousand times to have a visual synchronization point like uh, what we used in the previous task as well like i said that's what clapper boards are used for so basically you don't only use the sound but also this moment right here when the sound is created. If you've ever seen behind the scenes footage of a movie, before they say action, you always hear mark and then the clap or just show the time code clapper board. Well, that's what that means. They mark the audio as well as the video for post-production. Okay, so I'll do this task in DaVinci again because it's very simple there, especially if you also have camera audio. All it takes is importing your files 
into the media browser, then selecting the audio and the video files and clicking right here, then everything else is done automatically. Super easy. Now, in case you don't have in-camera audio and need to rely solely on the marker, you can do the same exact process we've done before, or go to the media browser tab here in DaVinci, click on the video file and look for your marking point. Then click on the audio file and look for the marking sound and then click on link here. The same thing can be done in various other editing software and the logic is always the same. So there you have it. I hope I could help you with this video to overcome some issues you've been facing. So leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more video making related content. And I'm gonna thank you for watching and uh, have a great one guys.